plotting multiple design files at the same time. Let's take for instance I'm finished with this job and maybe I need to print out multiple sheets. Well you could come in here open up this particular DGN file print it and then do a file open the next file print it out do a file open open up the next file and print it but that may take a lot of time well within the modot plotting which I'm going to go ahead and select this little icon that says modot plotting of course you would set your parameters your plotter your location paper size and other settings to whatever you need to set those to but then underneath the files option right now it's set to current so it's going to do the, do the current file but if I come in here and I change that to multiple this will allow me to print multiple DGN files at the same time so if I click this multiple what you're going to get is this box right here and what we're going to go ahead and do is click on the browse button so we can browse to those files that we want to print out all at the same time so I'd click on browse it's going to bring another dialog box up here's where you go through and determine what files that you want to print and of course you can navigate to whatever location of where the files are at you can change your list of file types from DGN to all files and a couple other things that you can do there but simply all we need to do in here is select the file that we want to print out in addition to the sheet that we're in and then we can click on add all the files I get added to this list down below here will be printed out. Another way you can do it is if you double left click on one of these files here, it will add it to the list down below here. And of course if you want to do multiple ones you can select one, hold your shift key down and grab as many files that you need. Or you can come in here and hold your control key down and select just certain files that you want to print out. So once you have those selected, you click on the add, and it adds them to the list down below here. If you need to remove one, you can just select it down below here, and click remove, and it will remove it also from your list. So once you have your list the way you want it, you would click on the done button. Here's where it's going to show you what files that you have inside here. Of course, if you want to remove it from this list here, you can click on the remove, and it would remove it from the list. A couple of other options that you have down below here is plot in reverse order, which will plot the files in reverse order if you ever need to do that. And then down below here you have the option to plot standard sheets. So if you're plotting standard sheets and you want to print those out, what you can do is check mark that box and click on English and it's just going to print out everything in that file on the English level. Any more, you may not have to do that because I think in the um, standard plans, whenever you open up the file, it's just set to the English level because used to we do stuff in metric and English. But I think any more, you don't have to really worry about this one that says plot standard sheets. So I probably wouldn't worry about that too much. But like I said, if, if you just want to make sure, you can click on that button and click on English and it opens up just the English level on that sheet so all your dimensions and your text will show up in English units and not in metric. Since these aren't standard sheets I'm going to uncheck that I'm not going to worry about it. Once you have those files the way you want it to print out in, at one shot click on OK and then you click on plot and it will send it to that particular plotter that you have specified here at the top. So that's how to print multiple sheets all at the same time. Whenever you print out multiple sheets, you want to print out the sheets that have the same size border attached to it. So if you're coming in here and you have, let's say, your your plan sheets. Let's say you have 20 plan sheets. Some of the sheets are in a 100 scale, some of them are in a 50 scale. I wouldn't want to print all those out at the same time. What I would probably do is print out the ones that are in a 50 scale sheet since this one right here is opened up in a 50 scale or when we change that project to a 50 scale that way all my sheets will look correct my line styles will look correct and some other stuff on my 100 scale sheets I would open up one of those sheets change my project to that I100 that way my line styles look correct and then come back in there and print all my 100 scale sheets out so kinda keep that in mind too whenever you're printing out multiple sheets